So this morning, we're on our way to go get some wood to finish up a secret bookshelf door that we have in our loft in our uh, our house. So I got the cameraman with me today. Woman. <laughs> so we're gonna go get a, we, we just need one, one by four to finish it up. So here in a little bit, we'll show you what it looks like after we get the bookshelf done. And again, you hear us talking about our granddaughters a lot. They wanted a secret a secret door and a secret room or whatever, so they're getting what they wanted. We'll show it to you in just a minute. Hang on. Yeah, it's pretty pretty simple. We just go in there and get the one by four and drive around to the lumber yard section of it and of the surplus and salvage store that we got here and they're able to load it up these guys are real good here they they really take care of you we we bought probably 40 percent put seat belt on babe we uh we probably bought 40 percent of our supplies from from this place they're real good real good people take care of you so now we're in walmart we had to stop come get get some stuff and so <laughs> come on come on we've got to get some motor oil I buy I buy motor oil at the Walmart because they're cheaper what do you need hold on I'm being summoned so we're gonna go get the motor oil and I think we need a wall mount a wall mount for our TV that we're going back here so we'll, we'll get that done. We'll get that too. So this is what I don't like coming about Walmart, right? So I got my um, oil, but I've also got some fire logs, um, a wire light, a wire light set, and cough drops. So we got that's I don't know 15 more dollars I got to spend on that than what I did, what I planned on spending when I got up here. So Walmart equal it's like that i think that's spanish for spending more money on stuff you don't need am i the only one am, am i the only husband that loses their wife in walmart am i, I can't find her anywhere gina's in there remember me saying i lose my wife well i came out of the bathroom and she's gone so i'm headed to the car she'll pay for the stuff that's dividing and conquering right there dividing and conquering this is the original one by four that I've got uh, that we had on the bookshelf and you can see I had to notch it you have to notch it for the um, shelves to kind of open up but you'll see it later but the reason why the reason why I had to replace it is because <laughs> I tried to take a uh, I tried to take a pocket knife it was getting caught so I said well I'll just trim that up with a pocket knife and it looks like, uh, well, it looks like doo-doo, to be honest with you. So I got to fix that. We're using an Onyx Black. It's just to grab and go from, I think we got it at Walmart, to be honest with you. Anyway, so I got the 1x4 painted up. And as soon as she dries, I'll probably put a second coat on it and put it up. And the secret bookshelf will be done, and you'll get to see it. We got the bookshelf done. Looks really good. And I will show you how it works, and uh, you'll get to see exactly how we kind of made it that secret look for the granddaughters. So let's show them how it looks. And let's show them how it looks. Okay, we're not going to show you how it looks. Can you not hear me? What do you want me to do? Oh, gee, I thought you were going to open the door. I thought you were going to do it right there, so I'm not working. I thought you were going to do it. No. Okay, you do it. Show, are you not going to do it? Alright, so we're going to show you. <laughs> so there's our secret bookshelf door. So let's take a little closer look on how we, how we got that accomplished. You can see how it looks like a bookshelf. And basically what we've done is we painted it black by design 
so that it kind of hides the the cracks or whatever the seams are here and here so those are you know as the shelves go and how we attach the book is we put a little hinge on it here here and you pull the book back you reach in you pull a plunger and, voila. and it opens up we put four hinge i put four hinges on it uh let's see one two three four so it kind of hold the weight of the book and then as you close it you just push the plunger back in and set the book back down and there you go there you have it thank you vanna white but it turned out really cool it's really simple uh there's tons of other ideas out there like the plunger and um different types of magnet mechanisms and all that but this was pretty simple to do for a guy with no with the, with a no construction skills just a just a chop saw and a cordless drill but i think it turned out good and i think the granddaughters they love it they love it so that's the important part we got a secret door how cool is that we got a barn with a secret door in it that's pretty awesome and we did it because we love our granddaughters Anyway, hey, listen, I hope you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have a secret door in your house. You know, we're trying to build this channel, and we'd love to hear what your experiences are and what you think the best part about the Barn Dominium is. So listen, we, we went over 100 subscribers. We're super excited about that. Our next goal is 250. So if you share, if you subscribe, there'll be a button somewhere on the screen here to click to subscribe. Go ahead and uh, do that right now and uh, share us with your friends. Tell them about our little adventure here on Hamiltonville Farm and uh, we'll grow together. Thanks for watching.